Hey guys, this is Stacy from eatthebite.com, and today I'm making this delicious sesame peanut noodle salad with a little kick to it. It's easy. We're gonna chop a little celery, red pepper, scallions, grind up some peanuts, break apart a cooked rotisserie chicken and chop it into chunks, take all of our awesome ingredients, add them to a large mixing bowl, where we are going to mix them all together, plate it up, and enjoy. So, let me show you how to make it. At the beginning of the process, you should toast your sesame seeds. You're just putting them in a pan on low to medium heat for a few minutes and stir them until they're lightly toasted and golden brown. Then we're gonna set those aside and let them cool. Now we'll slice a couple of celery stalks into thin strips like you see here, then dice them down into smaller bits from there. And you can set those aside in a small bowl or ramekin. For the red pepper, just cut a few chunks off the side. We're gonna also slice that into thin strips and then dice it down into smaller pieces from there and we'll set that aside with celery. With the scallions, we're just using the dark green part for this recipe, so we're gonna chop them up and put those in a bowl as well. I'm using three quarters of a pound of thin spaghetti for this, and I'm gonna cook that in the background while I finish the rest of my prep. I love using peanuts in this dish, so I'm gonna add those to my mini food processor, and I'm gonna grind those up a little bit and set them off to the side. I've got one large rotisserie chicken, and I'm going to start by breaking off the thighs first. After that, you wanna make sure you peel all the skin off. Now I'm gonna pull off that white breast meat as well. After that, I'll start pulling the meat off the chicken thighs and getting rid of some of the fat and bones. Once you've got all the meat from the thighs and the wings, you can start rough chopping the chicken, and it's really up to you what size pieces you want in the salad. Then with the chicken breast, we're just going to cut that into thick strips and cut it into smaller chunks from there. And I did go ahead and measure out all the chicken, which came to four cups. So now we are ready to assemble. I've got my drained and cooled pasta that I tossed in some olive oil, diced red pepper, scallion, peanuts, toasted sesame, celery, sesame oil, and a little kick in the form of Roland's Spicy Chili Onion Crisp. I'm gonna transfer that cooled pasta to a large mixing bowl. It's been sitting out a few minutes, so I just tossed it to make sure the noodles are not sticking together. I went ahead and added some of that Roland Spicy Chili Onion Crisp. I poured most of the sesame oil over the pasta, then the celery, red peppers, about half of the scallions, half of the peanuts, and the chicken. I'm using my kitchen tongs to give everything a toss to combine. I'm also gonna give it a little drizzle of good olive oil here, mix it up again. And you'll wanna taste it here and adjust your flavors how you want them. I personally like to add a bit more spice. So I added more of the Rollins here, the rest of the sesame oil, give it a toss. You can add a little salt if you want, this is optional. And then give it one final toss and you're done. You can serve it in a large bowl if you want or transfer it to a serving plate with extra scallions and peanuts on the side. For presentation, I cut a couple of large pieces of scallion to place around the rim of the plate, a few more scallions on top, of course, a sprinkling of peanuts, and the toasted sesame seeds. I'll give it one last little drizzle of good olive oil, and we are ready to serve. I'm going to leave you now with my live commentary of tasting this delicious noodle salad, and thanks so much for watching. I need more scallions. <laughs> Yeah, see, I always have to cut way more scallions because I like them so much. Okay, I think I got the perfect bite here. I got a little bit of everything. I'm going in. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh. Love it. Rotisserie chicken works great for these types of things because it's so low maintenance and they cost five bucks. Well, I had to buy the one that was ten this time, but normally I buy the one that was only five. They didn't have it. Okay. I'm also going to tell you, I love the kick from the uh, Roland Spicy Chili Onion Crisp. Because it's not overwhelming, but there's a kick to this. It's a kick you're not going to get if you, say, decide, well, I'll just buy that hot sesame oil. <laughs> that hot sesame oil is such a crock. I don't enjoy that. Mm -hmm. I got the nice little crunchy peanut in there. Got a little celery in that bite. Mmm. You know, it's like sesame can get overwhelming 
That's why you have to, I'm really careful when I use sesame oil for anything. There's also sesame oil, sesame oil in that Rolling Spicy Chili Onion Crisp that I recently discovered. Um, mmm. I forgot I started cooking so early this morning. I'm like, oh, this is a perfect lunch. It's nine o'clock in the morning. Mmm. I have to tell you, yes, you can do this without the Roland onion, spicy, whatever, crunchy chili thing. But I gotta tell you, it's worth the seven bucks to buy that jar. I discovered it at a friend's house and I'm like, oh, I kind of made an impromptu cashew chicken stir fry for dinner and I threw some of that in there. It was the best cashew chicken I'd ever made. And I know it was because I added that extra layer of flavor. Oh, and also the other thing too is what would work really well here, if you divide, you know, use some sesame oil and then use, I have that homemade chili oil. It, honestly, if I had some of that around right now, I would have used that in this as well. You could use that instead of Roland's spicy chili. It's such a long name to have to remember. Roland's spicy chili onion crisp. Um, but uh, yeah, you could use a homemade chili oil recipe that I have on my website. You could use the Roland chili crisp thing. Um, I do like the idea of the spice, or if you just want to use all sesame oil and red pepper flakes, that will work too. I tried to balance out using sesame oil, olive oil, and then the Roland chili crisp thing, because that also has sesame in it. Ooh, love the little kick from that. It's not a really spicy, I swear, I promise you. I do have a sensitive palate. I wouldn't steer you down the wrong path. This is mildly spicy. Um, and again, you can serve everything on the side too. Chop some more scallions, peanuts. You can put anything you want. You can eat, chop extra of everything and let people add more if they want to, or just leave it as is and pr present it on a plate, which is probably what I'm gonna do, with some extra peanuts and um, the toasted sesame on top, so. This is it. Hope you like it. It's super easy to make, and this is a great thing to bring to a uh, cookout or just to have around the house to snack on for lunches or in-between meal snacks. Um, mm, came out great, love it.